Hey there, and thanks for watching. In this video, I'll be walking you through my development due diligence checklist. Now, for some background, I had previously released an acquisition due diligence checklist, and I received requests after releasing that for a more expansive checklist to accommodate development scenarios. And so while that acquisition checklist had the ability to be expanded, uh, I collaborated with my co-contributor, Michael Belasco, who has spent a lot of years on the development side. Uh, I started uh, my career in land development, and so we, we kind of put our heads together and uh, added items that are specific to development scenarios, and then created just this list that uh, is, again, better suited for uh, development opportunities. Now, what you'll have here, just uh, if you're unfamiliar with our checklist, uh, you have just an investment overview section here. Uh, the property type is a dynamic menu, and you can change the property type items over here out to the right in our data validation lists. So under property type, you just add additional property types here, and they will appear then in that list, right? Uh, otherwise, these are just general inputs for investment name, address, city, state. And of course, you can expand this uh, for your specific uh, situation and firm. And then here to the right, we have due diligence team. And this way you can assign tasks to up to five team members. Uh, and so uh, right here you have right the, the name of the title for that team member. And you'll notice it's a black font cell, and that's because these uh, titles pull from these lists here, right? So if you wanted to say change right now, it says other team member. If we wanted to change this to maybe closing specialist, what you'll see here to the right is now the, the label is closing specialist. And then the list is what any names that are underneath this closing specialist list here. So right now, last name, first name, maybe we add, um, uh, Jones, Betty, and maybe we add uh, Sanchez, Carlos, and then when we come underneath our due diligence team, now we have Betty and Carlos as options. Now, that's our due diligence team, and that's how you add new titles and new team members. Then we have this progress to completion section, and this just tracks the number of tasks that are uh, in the uh, list, how many have not started yet, how many are in progress, uh, how many are completed, and then you'll see a percent complete in uh, this cell here. And then as we go down, what you'll find here is we have different sections. So we have an underwriting section, and then you just toggle the status of each. Uh, you can toggle the not applicable, and this task then is removed from your list, right? Um, not applicable, meaning it's not a not a task that you'll need to perform. Uh, then you can assign here. So let's say in process, the non-disclosure hasn't been signed yet, but it's in the process, and we're going to assign here our analyst, uh, Jose Sombrano, to this. And and there we have our non-disclosure sign, right? And so maybe the disclosure is now signed and completed, and we've begun our financial analysis. We go in process, and again, Jose is on that one. Uh, development budget may be uh, also in process to Jose. Uh, and then maybe we've already completed our mark analysis, analysis on this, and this is actually uh, Amber's responsibility. So we do Amber and so forth. And now you'll start seeing our percent complete increases as we complete these tasks. Another thing you'll see here is I have a, a color coding, and this is just to, to help you visualize uh, your progress on your checklist. Green meaning complete, yellow uh, meaning in process, red, not started. And then if we were to toggle an item, let's say, um, I don't know, asset management review, not applicable, it just removes that from the color altogether uh, or returns a white. So uh, we have an underwriting section. We also have negotiation, property condition, environmental, legal entitlement, insurance, uh, lease review, construction documents, engineering, utilities, planning and design. Now I left some area down below here where you could add additional items. Uh, you just need to copy uh, these lines down to do that. Uh, the other thing uh, that you could do if you want to add items within a certain section, just simply insert a row and that this row would need to be inserted into the center somewhere 
between the top and the bottom item. So you can't you can't insert it below the bottom item or it may not be captured by the formulas that we have, but say insert it here in the middle, just use a control plus sign, uh, and then just copy the row, say above or below it, down, and then just change the name. Uh, yeah, maybe we have, uh, um, I don't know, underwriting. Uh, what, what am I missing from underwriting? Whatever that may be, other, other items, and uh, that becomes a new item. As you'll notice, the number of tasks increase to uh, account for that new item. So that is our due diligence uh, checklist for development. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and if you identify items that aren't on the checklist that you've liked us, that you'd like us to add to the template file here, uh, please let us know. Otherwise, thanks for your time.